Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to RimWorld royalty and Laz Pev's Laz Colony, <clears throat> his Vulcan fan colony. Last time we left off, Laz was just trying to prop himself back up into things. Still kind of alone here, it seems, but plenty of lovely animals, and of course, looking for a new place to put the new uh base because we're kind of on swampy land right now and whilst we want to retain the whole you know keeping uh you know keep keeping keeping uh productivity and stuff uh we also want you know and, and by like a riverside house we also want to uh you know not be on land that is super marshy so we want to kind of move over here at some point or alternatively reclaim the soil which we think we actually are working on the on the text for or work there it is yes soil reclamation i believe we do have it now so, yeah, if you like what you see, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon for all notifications, and do all those other lovely things to help support the channel that we love to see. Please also consider going on down to the description, checking out Lazpav Bendable's own Patreon, as well as, uh, you know, checking out our Patreon, our World Anvil, maybe even our Teespring if you want some designs. You know, we like that stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, oh, and last time we also had Toxic Fallout that inspired us to have this big old fat, uh, this, this big old fat thingamaboop right here, you know? Yeah. Pretty stoked, actually. Shelter for Harmony. Yeah, okay, whatever. Bam. Let's speed it up a little bit. That was all nice and everything. Yeah, and Laz is getting the force. Laz has the force something fierce. Don't attack Laz. Laz will just paste you. Force lightning. Still. Oh, no, not force lightning. For uh, He can heal others. No, yeah, he can. He can force lightning. He he'll force lightning you, dude. One guy. Uh, this one guy's got a rail pistol. But we have a heavy blaster. Blast him! <laughs> we have a heavy blaster and a lot of animal creatures to save us. No, Horus, why? You should stay in the home area. No, Horus. No, don't do it. Oh, no. A gun drone? My gods. Horrific. Catch him at the river, Laz. Right over here. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. Release the animals. Nope. Too late. Get in close. Kish doesn't stand a chance. Capture. We'll take care of that gun drone in just a second. Bam, bam, bam! Ooh! Release the animals. Oh, there is. Oh, good.
finish it. All right, ten to Kish. Then ten to yourself, but only this once, Laz. My god, his right eye was finally burnt out. What the hell? You bastard! No! Blessed! Oh my god! No, I'm sorry. We're not going to do that one, guys. During the Ryan installation. We didn't see that second, uh, that second gun drone. We thought it was just Kish and the gun drone. Well, it just got gacked. That's never gonna roll. We're not. That's never gonna fly. Just not. So let's just undo that. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. This time without Horus and Laz dying horribly. We find it interesting how just all of these rotten animal bodies are there because, you know, the... Oh, you know what we're gonna do? Animals. You know what? There will officially be uh, an Area 1. This is Area 1. You get to be here. Hyper Weaver Revenge? Oh, well, there's nothing we can do for you. We're sorry. But Rosa can kill whatever she wants, even if it's on the train list. Just saying. Don't know, we don't know how you're alive, mind you. We thought you'd be dead, but... Rosa can eat you if she wants. There's nothing we can do to stop her. Well, at least we aren't being attacked by stuff. Yet. So that's the thing. We won't have any use for titanium. Hmm. We have a diggy diggy hole, don't we? Somewhere here. It's a thing. Defecating in the open like he has to. Because he still hasn't been able to get a toilet going. Because reasons. Right. Zone. Expand area. A wandering dragon. Doesn't Laz have like a taming device or something? Isn't that, like, a thing that Laz has? It's an elder purple dragon. Try member Ven released them. They became free roaming wild dragons. Red and blue. Yeah, don't we have a... Don't we have a tamey device or something somewhere? Like a, a boom, you're mine now thing? Or is that a different game? Best not chance it for now. Because if that thing wants to kill us, I mean, we've already had our own misfortunes with... with dragons. So... I mean, we're not, like, looking super fast to get back into it or nothing. What are you doing, Laz? Uh, okay. We really wish you wouldn't 
cook so many fine meals. But if it's only 10. Although you really should be cooking fine meals in bulk. Oh. Oh. So, do it until you have 10. Then crush that boy. Because now you're cooking bulk meals. Kablam! Done. Okay, Laz, off to your business. Cremating this time. Who are you cream? No, 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 no. One moment. We got this. Hey, look. Anything in there. Forget it. Um. Okay. We, we guess. That checks out. It's like one of the only meats he can, so okay. Oh, and we suppose there's some reason in him wanting to be busy right now, what with all the wind. No! Oh, wah! Release the animals. Rawr. She's back up, baby. No, she's back down. Laz, you're a member of Starfleet. Why can you not shoot better? Okay, this is getting ridiculous. We would really, really, really like... Oh my god, wait, no. It's because we're using the Stormtrooper weapon. It isn't it. Isn't it? That's why. It's because we're using a fucking blaster. We get one. He's got, like, good professional, if not master level, shooty skills. <laughs> but no, nah, no, nah, it's cool, man. You're, you're using a mook rifle. You can't. Go to hell. Don't try it. Don't do it, because if we get all mad and pissed, couldn't be saved if cops came with formatted discs. Turn rifle. Blaster, blaster, PDW. Honestly, we're thinking the PDW might be better than his blaster. Just, you know. Nobody cares about your darn pristine ruins. It's all garbage anyway. You know what, Horace? We're putting our foot down also. You stay in area one, and so does pretty much everybody else. Of course, some other world. No! Nope. Go! Just go! Oh my goodness. Serious. It's like, are you sure? Are you absolutely sure? Yes, you dingus.
He kind of got hurt there. Crush. Just wrecked the- Oh, jeez, Rosa. Alright, see, this is what we were talking about. Well, logically, they are fish, right? Uh huh. Don't, please don't, oh, whatever. Like, don't defecate in the open next to the water supply. That's the opposite of what you want to do, Laz. It's not logical. My gods. We've... We're gonna try something real quick. Go, let's go! So these poor guys are, as you can see, hurt. Pretty bad even. We're gonna rescue them. And hopefully they'll love us so much for it that they'll join our team and they will become ours so that we can sell them off to the highest bidder. You know, because that's how we do. And now he's gonna go butcher, crazy, eldritch people me. Yeah. That's totally how it works. And he's gonna make that crazy, eldritch people meat. The strange meat that, that he keeps getting from them. He's gonna, he's gonna make it into pemmican. And that's gonna feed him forever. Yeah. He's gonna go a little crazy every time he eats it. But he's a, he's a Vulcan. So he's eminently logical and can probably get over it. See? Already got over the sanity damage. If they want to leave, they can leave. Don't don't like hold them in. They'll go crazy. Imagine that. Laz is starting to go a little insane. Pretty sure we told you to stay open. And now they can leave if they really want to. Milking. Nice. So... Yeah. Meat? Come on, buddy. You can do it. Kill those crazy deep ones. You can kill anything else you want. They're so big and slow moving, the trees literally grow on them. Faster than normal trees, apparently, which is interesting to think about. And yes, we know we need batteries. Laz is just doing his best right now. He's trying so hard. Nice. We're getting the pumps going again. That's what we're talking about. Nice. Jeez, that is a lot of work, though. Okay. Yeah. Good. We're like, don't you, don't you try to run away, Laz. Okay. Good. Yes! That's what we want to see. Alright. We 
gotta learn water treatment at some point, but that'll come at some point. It's pretty good. Kablam. He's just taking a nap, like he do. Now that they've left, we can just keep these doors closed again. Z Laz can go swing it on back. That can be deconstructed at some point. Oh, are you training? Yes, right, because all of the necessary training wasn't entirely done. We still have to train you to go kill things for us, right? Will mark things to die. Okay. Well, maybe the valve isn't working. We don't know. But, most importantly, our entire water system is back. Yeah. Maybe not fully running water, but water. Relatively clean water. That's what is the thing. Next. Getting electricity going properly. Like, proper properly. He goes to the milking spot, and he milks, and he trains, and he does his thing. Come on, Rosa. Good. Only two more. You're about to say, please, please don't say you're gonna... Yeah, okay. Good, good. One housekeeper cat. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna be good. Just making fine meals. Now he's gonna go tame a kitty. Zoom. No, we do not want your dumb obeliskness. Obeliskness. Yeah, that's our story and we're sticking to it. It's an anima tree. Okay. No, no, we don't want the old kinship. They suck. They burn down half of our frickin' town. They are not welcome here. At all. <laughs> And uh, for the sake of things, uh, we're gonna make research the primary thing because we really, really, really want electricity. Electricity would do everything for Laz right now. He, he just needs, it, I mean, he even knows, like, how he can pull more energy from the ground, or where he can pull more energy from the ground, rather. He just doesn't have the tech to do geothermal right now, because that wasn't his field in Starfleet, obviously. He wasn't an engineer, he was an officer. Was he an officer? We have to check that. He was... probably, like, just a guy, actually. Yeah, he was just a guy. He doesn't know, like, everything there is to know about all the Starfleet logs and all that good stuff. He just, you know, he's just a guy. Now, he's he's just, he's just trying his hardest to get this, uh, this cow herd going, because he knows that it's logical to assume that if he can keep cow herd going, he'll have meat and milk and possibly cheese and stuff. 
So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. Oh, come on, Laz, you waking up? He'll wake up soon. He's, he's just, he's had a rough day. A rough time. But, he's had some fine meals. That's good. Oh, here we go. So microelectronics will get us the high-tech research bench. In very strict theory. Oh, yep, there it is. High-tech research bench. And then geothermal power will give us the great and mighty geothermal generator. Which... You know, even though we don't have, uh, batteries, is a constant supply of energy. So we can immediately start making things feel a little better. Well, this is where our inevitable bathroom's gonna go. Because Laz likes to have a, kind of like a private space. You know what we're talking about. Just a, just a little place to call your own, you know, get a little privacy back away from the world. Although, recently we've been thinking of making his bathroom up here. You know... Downriver from the, uh... the flow. It'd be a little smaller. We could carve out that little area right there. In fact, that's what we think we're gonna do. Yeah. Yeah, eminently logical to change his bathroom location over here, down river, so uh, no potential contamination risks. Yes, that's nice. All right, what are you doing now, Laz? Training a housekeeper cat, as you should. Bam! It's already trained for attack. That sort of feels like it's already a train. Oh no, wait, we, okay. Sure, whatever. Guard? We're confused now. Yes, Laz. Re research. A transport pod. <gasps> Birdkin? He's an independent crew colonist. Laz? It's only right that you capture this guy. Ooh! He's... He's cool! Laz, you gotta save this fool. Don't worry, bird kid. It's just some random crew guy. And you know, we're a Vulcan, so we're not racist. We don't we don't think about about people negatively just because they're bird people, because they're crew. He's got a really, really nice trait layout. So we're very curious in making this guy our friend. No force into work. He's he's force sensitive as well, which we bet we could just feel. You know, we we bet we were like, oh, oh, this guy's special. It's force sensitive, just like Laz. Actually, Laz is a gray master because he's eminently logical, but still, it's pretty cool. All right. Oh yeah, we used force lightning at some point, so our light side went down. <laughs> it's like, nah, dog. You zapped that fool super hard. Ooh, you know what we could do? Could heal this fool. What do you- No, that's definitely not what we said. We said heal this fool was... Bam! Laz just up and did it. Well, good for him. 
Fool is like way more healed now. He's... He's not happy, but he's not like in screaming pain anymore. So yeah, we think he, uh, he's doing pretty darn good, all things considered. You're welcome, son. <laughs> Straight up. Laz is like, bah! Okay, you're good. <laughs> so he can fry you, he can push you, or he can heal you. You want to be, you want to be healed. You don't want to be fried. So that's, that's a thing. That's a thing you gotta watch out for, dog. Oh, solar flare. Well, good thing we weren't terribly reliant on electricity anymore, isn't it? You nut. Alright, Birdkin. Birdkin. Oh, it's a female. Okay, so Birdkin girl. Hmm. Well, it is near guaranteed that Birdkin will be will be a person that we see so we're gonna call birdkin toll panzer after our most feverish and fervent fan and she's a crude shaper sweet lots of certain specials Eight social, which is why she's actually kind of good at social. Okay, fair enough. Already lowering that resistance. That's what we're talking about, man. That's what we're talking about. Soon or moving will be good enough to move. So that'll be nice. And we're going to make Rosa go completely insane, but that's also fine. So... Marks animals to be killed. Clearly, we just want the pack to start tearing apart all of the nuisance animals. And... Oh yeah. Oh, gee. Acid burn. Okay. Oh! Oh, jeez! Rosa! Just going on a complete and total murder spree here. Done! Oh, jeez. We just told her to go kill something and, and she's taking it very seriously. My gracious! <laughs> Oh, we are definitely... This is... This is definitely a fun idea. She's just... She's just going for it. Oh, already healed too, so we guess they heal really fast. Well, you're gonna die, dude. As we recall, they actually heal really fast, too. Like, really, really fast. One moment. We're gonna... We know there are more fission mouses out there, so at some point kill them. Nice. 
Yeah, she's just rolling around, killing absolutely everything. Dead. Hunting spree, man. Hunting spree. Oh, already? Yeah, fully healed. Done. Done. Run it over. Over, sucka. Over. Don't know what Laz is doing right now, but when he wakes up, he's going to be like, oh, wow, geez. Uh, you were busy overnight, weren't you? Just going to kill that panther. Totally fear. Kill it in its sleep, no less. Done. Oh, my goodness. Gonna go kill this tiger. Not even a thing. Just, just over and done with. Real fast. Sneak up on you while you sleep. Jeeves salutation. No. We're not going anywhere for Jeeves. Done! Oh my goodness! Okay, we'll consider that Dunalisk on the list then. Cancel the kill orders right now. Oh no, wait, no, never mind. No, keep, keep murdering if you want. All right. We, we like how suddenly this game has not become about Laz, but become about Rosa, the, the uh, sword-armed freak who's running around and killing absolutely everything that could even be a moderate inconvenience while it sleeps dead. <laughs> Just crushed it. It didn't even... Oh, man. And now Rose is like, Oh, well, after a long night of murdering things, I guess I better just go to bed. Oh, man. You need to give drink. Conjunctivitis. That's... Very not good. That's allowed. So now, Laz can just go start butchering tons of stuff. And we're even gonna allow Laz to start butchering tons of stuff. Because there's a lot of stuff to butcher. Okay, now he can take care of himself. Close the door! <laughs> Just close the door. Close the door. Okay, there. Good. That's all we were asking for. Holy crap. We're just like, come on, bro. Just, just work with us here. Okay. Okay. Resistance is lowering. That's what we're talking about. Yes, indeed. Train the cat to do its actual job. If cats were actually useful. Now he makes more food, clearly. Darn it. Animal corpses. Now, hopefully, somebody will go out and get- Yes! It's already working. Alright, Laz. You know your duty. Apparently, maybe. Okay, okay. O okay, that is your duty. Techni technically. 
It's not gonna work yet. So you gotta milk that pickup truck. It's all about milking that pickup truck. Okay, we're, so are you trying to milk Horus? Pretty sure you can't do that, bro. Like, we're pretty sure you're just not capable of it. Uh, we like when he gets to the spot, the, the cat goes to him, but then as soon as the cat gets there and he's like, Oh, awesome, now I can train you. The cat's like, nah, nah, don't really feel like it. Good try, though. Good try. We're kind of irritated how every time he tries to train that cat, it says it's teaching it attack. It's clearly not. All right. You can butcher at any time, Laz. Pardon? Wait, one more. Boom! Dead! Oh my gracious. Cut it up. Chop it. Beat it up. <laughs> yeah. That's what you get, fool. We were leaving that one because we were being nice. Not nice anymore. Not nice at all. <laughs> Crush that fool. He was like, trying to make a fine meal and everything for himself. This, this is how they come into his life, try to screw everything up. Uh, that calf might not make it. Okay, no, the calf will make it. It'll be fine. Holy... It's all front left leg was bitten off. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. What, uh... Yeah, well, nobody cares about them. What an adventure today, guys. Okay, well, after failing a couple of times, things are back in the safe. We've got meat galore. We've finally trained Rosa to just go kill anything we want for dinner. Probably retrieve it with other guys, too. And uh, we think in the meantime, we're just going to let things go there. Thank you so much for staying this long, for being here. If you like what you saw on the channel, remember to like and subscribe and do all of those other lovely things to support the channel. Maybe go on down to the description, check out Lazpev Bendable's own Patreon account, as they are an artist, an independent creator, just like ourselves. And consider going on down to World Anvil, or maybe like uh, Patreon, or our Teespring, or something like that, if you want some of our designs on like your iPod, or iPad, or iPhone, or i something or other these days, so... Yeah, have a great night. Stay safe, stay inside, save lives, and do remember that black lives matter. Oh, wait a second. No, don't don't worry, we, we got this. This ain't no thing. Don't worry. Don't worry about that. Done. Are you not going to? Oh, last. Why are you the dumb? Dead. Okay. Boom. Okay. So yeah. Uh, have a great night. Stay safe. Remember that Black Lives Matter. Bye bye.